So I said, guess what guys? There's an asteroid that's gonna be named after me. And they're like, what? You're, are you serious? It's not every day that someone gets a space rock named after them, but for one Canadian astrophotographer, that dream has become a reality. Meet Carrie Ann Leckie Hepburn, a woman whose passion for the night sky has now placed her name among the stars. I was pretty humbled and super grateful about it. And the more I thought about it too, I was like, you know what? It's gonna be so cool to be able to go into an app and type in my name and then an asteroid will show up. Discovered in 1999 by Alain Mori and his team, the asteroid, now officially named Carrie Ann Leckie, sits safely in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. At just over four kilometers wide, it poses no threat to Earth, just a cosmic tribute to her contributions to astrophotography. Carrie Ann's journey into astronomy started young, inspired by an historic comet. Yeah, I was 10 years old and in the news they were talking about Halley's Comet. I knew absolutely nothing about comets, but it just intrigued me that there was this object in the night sky. I didn't even know what they looked like. Carrie's parents encouraged her curiosity, taking her to the library and buying her space magazine subscriptions. She was hooked. That passion led her to a career as a Weather Network meteorologist, pilot and renowned astrophotographer. Her work has connected her with astronomers worldwide, including the scientists in Chile who nominated her name for the asteroid, Yuri Beletsky and Alain Mori. But perhaps her most important role? Inspiring the next generation, including her own daughters. I always tell them that if they have a passion for something, they can do it. As for what's next? I just, actually, I really just enjoy sharing the night sky with others and teaching photography or astrophotography to those that think it's not even attainable. And maybe one day, her students will capture asteroid Carrie Ann Leckie out in space, about 226 million kilometers away.